This body type pattern is becoming very common amongst Indian men. A lot of fat in the midsection, skinny arms, and little to almost no muscle mass. This type of body is called skinny fat and lately is causing a lot of health problems. Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the skinny fat epidemic in India, why it is caused, and some ways to solve it. A diet is always about calorie in, calories out. If the amount of calories consumed is more than the amount of calories spent, then we gain weight. And if it is less, then we lose weight. But our modern Indian diet is making us eat way too many calories, which always results in fat gained. The food that we eat has three essential components. Carbs, protein, and fat. Together, they are called macronutrients or macros for short. Proteins are building blocks of life. Every cell in the human body contains protein. The basic structure of protein is a chain of amino acids. You need protein in your diet to help your body repair cells and make new ones. It is the most important macronutrient when it comes to athleticism and bodybuilding and is very important to build strength and muscle mass. Do we remember these acts? These ads were targeted towards the Indian audiences because it was a known fact that our diet lacked in protein. Now for Indians who eat meat, this problem can easily be fixed. Animal products like chicken, fish are more than enough to fulfill daily requirement for protein. But almost 40% of Indians are vegetarians, and they are the primary target of this video. This is before and after I added plenty of protein in my diet. I've also added my Instagram handle if you want to know more about how I went from this to that. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to make a video about my own fitness journey. There are several ways as to how us vegetarians can get enough protein. First and foremost, if you can add whey protein to your diet, there's no reason not to do so. Whey protein is a byproduct of cheese manufacturing process. It ranks really high on the quality of protein because it contains all the nine essential amino acids which are hard to find in plant-based protein. But eating a combination of beans and peas like lentil and rajma and adding dry fruits to our daily diet can help increase in daily protein intake. Paneer is a high quality protein because it is derived from milk. There's also low fat milk that can replace regular milk is a great source of protein without adding too much cholesterol. Also, if you can afford it, adding keto bread in diet can help up the protein intake and reduce carbs. But there's one thing easily available in India that if added to diet, can do wonders, that is, soya chunks. 100 grams of uncooked soya chunks have 345 calories with 52 grams of protein, almost no fat, 33 grams of carbs, and 13 grams of fiber. They're also rich in calcium and iron while providing no extra sugar or sodium to the body. The carb-rich food that we eat are high in something called as the glycemic index, GI for short. They are broken down quickly by the body and cause rapid increase in blood glucose which spikes insulin levels. A lot of consumption of these foods causes the insulin to spike which can result in type 2 diabetes which is also very prevalent in India these days. Simple carbs like rotis, naans, white rice and potatoes which form a major part of our meals are very high on glycemic index and sometimes we eat roti rice and potato in the same sitting which is absolutely abysmal for a blood glucose level an easy way to mitigate this is by adding complex carbs in our diet these type of carbs take a very long time to process and this is why they prevent high insulin spikes. Great examples of these are rajma, chana, chole, and dal. Substituting white rice with a glycemic index of 72 
with brown rice of glycemic index of 50 is also a great way to reduce insulin spikes. Another way to help with this is to try and limit yourself to only one source of carbs. If you eat rice in a meal, then do not eat roti. And if you eat roti, do not eat rice. Potato also has a very high glycemic index of 82. If you are making potato dish, try to combine with a complex carb source. So instead of just making aloo, make aloo matar or aloo gobi. The combination helps bring down the average GI of the dish because matar or green peas have a GI of 22 and gobi has a very low GI of 10. Substituting sugar with sugar-free options will also help bringing down the total consumption of carbs and calories. Similarly, high amounts of oil in our food causes our blood cholesterol to go up. These cholesterol clog the arteries, which results in heart-related diseases and high blood pressure. Reducing the amount of oil added to our dishes can help with this. What I do is use an oil spray while making my dishes which reduces oil intake by almost 90%. But how did we maintain a relatively leaner physique on the same diet in the past? Until the late 80s, India was mostly an agrarian economy. People relied heavily on agriculture and entire family would work in the farms. This helped them stay relatively leaner even with the same diet rich in carbs. But our desk jobs and our sedentary lifestyle do not allow for a lot of physical activity and the work from home culture hasn't helped us either. Coupled with increase in household income that have increased the access to dine-in and takeouts. Foods that were only consumed during festivals because of how expensive they were are now being consumed on a regular basis. But all is not lost. Yoga is becoming very mainstream after a very long time in India. 21st June is now celebrated as International Yoga Day. There are so many startups coming up that are focused around health and fitness. The pandemic also contributed to this shift towards a more health conscious life. There are three simple steps that will work for anyone who want to go from skinny fat to a little bit more defined. Those are one, eat in a caloric deficit, two, two to three days of resistance training, three, Try to get 10,000 steps a day. Our country has given this world yoga and meditation. We have had several types of sports that needed us to be in top shape to be able to do them. But it got lost somewhere along the way. So let's get back to it and let's make a healthier India. Because healthier India is a stronger India. Thank you and goodbye.